bio-augmentation has become commonplace throughout the developed world. The sheer scale of this disaster has overwhelmed the authorities. Superstorms continue to hammer the region, hampering relief efforts. These are uncertain times. Our future depends upon the choices we make. As populations continue to expand, megacities emerge worldwide. The extreme conditions have led to a vast exodus of displaced residents. WA bases were on high alert this morning. Direct energy air defenses neutralized the attack almost immediately. Protesters and local forces clashed again today, resulting in yet more bloodshed. Make no mistake, this is a new Cold War. We may not always see our enemies, but they are out there. My name is Jacob Hendricks. I'm your new CO. This is Egyptian Minister Saeed, taken hostage by NRC forces two days ago. After the uprisings in Cairo, they may want to make an example of him. Punish him. We're not going to let that happen. Just so we're clear, if this goes wrong, you never existed. The NRC are gonna be here soon. We got about one minute to create the mother of all distractions. Copy that. Diverting traffic to runway 11. Cargo 4019er, we have a fuel fire on runway 19. Divert course for landing to runway 11. Please confirm. All right, you're up. Okay, hacking module in place. Recalibrating death system target. We got company. Manual override. Please select target. Input confirmed. Targeting parameters accepted. All is good down here. Possible malfunction at your end? Fire. Now! Firing. Dead system engaging target. Firing. Open the door! Shit! Get out! This done. Taylor, diversion is in play. Heard is down. Confirmed. The sentries are leaving their post to respond to the crash. Proceed to the package. Make the grab before it breaks. It's broken. We're on it. See you at the RP. Roger that. While they're busy dealing with the crash, these uniforms should allow us to slip by unnoticed. So long as we don't have to talk to anyone. So keep your mouth shut. Security stations across the way in the tunnels. Once there, we'll be able to pinpoint the minister's exact location. Heads and weapons down. Keep it cool until we make the grab. I'll follow your lead. Just keep your head down.
Taylor, we're at the security station. Moving to secure. I hear you, Hendricks. Let's do this. Ready when you are. I'll kill the alarms on this floor. Get plugged in and locate the minister. Taylor, scanning for package. Waiting for a hit on facial recognition. Other hostages. I thought it was only the minister. Yeah, so did I. Poor sons of bitches. The NRC are known for their brutality. Taylor, did you know there were other prisoners? The minister is the only priority. Understood. Check the next feed. Are we just gonna leave him to be tortured? We have our orders. No match. That's him, the minister. He's being moved. We have to find out where they're taking him. Bingo. Match confirmed. Moving to secure. ETA? Two minutes. Two minutes. I'll be timing you. Son of a bitch was never funny. You sound like the voice of experience. Trust me. I am. Cell block ahead. On me. I'll take point. You breach observation. You invaded our home. We only did what we have to do. The interrogator has his back to the door. Two sentries inside. The guard's down. On my mark. Three, two, go! We're here to extract you. Do as I say and you'll make it through this. What about Lieutenant Khalil and the others? Sorry, no time. Khalil was a hero of the Cairo uprising. You know that makes him a valuable asset for their propaganda. They will make an example of him. Fuck! All right, let's go! Here, this one. Get the door, I'll cover. I'll cut the poor bastard down. Minister. Khalil. Uh, Hendrix. Can you fight, Khalil? Always. We'll grab a weapon from the locker room up ahead and reprogram it to match your biometrics. <laughs> Sounds like they're finally on to us. Let's move! Taylor, package plus one, secure and inbound. Plus one, your orders were to extract the minister. 
His name is Lieutenant Khalil. Sound familiar? Get moving. We'll see you topside. Depot ahead will be heavily guarded. Get ready to go loud. Dead if we do. Trust me, we're dead if we don't. Drop this. Move forward. You're late. Your imaginary watch is fast. Nice to see you, Jacob. You too, John. You look you look different. You still seeing Rachel? That didn't work out. That's a pity. Mm. Yeah. New blood? Gonna take care of him as good as you did me? That's not funny, man. We still set on our Xville? Charges are set. All right, good to go. Xville in 10. Diaz, you're on babysitting duty. Let's roll. Stay close. Make the cut after all. Fall back! Fall back! We need to regroup! Get to Axville! I got these guys! Go! Our weapons are no good against that APC! We gotta bring down that VTOL! Aim for the missiles! APC is down. Diaz, I'm in position. Copy that. Headers, rendezvous with Hall on the other side of the hangar.
try and keep up, all right? inside the comms room. Killing lights. What? You expect us to fight in the dark? Something like that. Sending tactical feet to your HUD. Remember, they ain't got the night vision. Pin down! Easy! Hold your fire, he's mine! other hostages we saw. You could get them out. Not a mission priority. They may not be a mission priority, but they're still people, damn it!
Or have you changed so much that you've forgotten what that feels like? All right, change of plan. Hendrix, your team will escort the minister to the extract. We'll go back and get the hostages. More robots. Don't worry about that. We're built to handle them. Go on, get out of here. Go! I got the wheel. Get on the turret. I'm fine, please just get me out of here!
Where am I? It's okay. Calm down. Just relax. You're gonna be fine. You got smarter than Achieved our objectives. A man's always gonna be better than machine. Unfortunately, you sustained life-threatening injuries. You're stable, but you got a long way to go. Who are you? It's me, Taylor. I think it's time you woke up, don't you? Zurich. Hey! Still with us? Welcome back. Taylor. Yeah. Do you know what's happening to you? Am I dreaming? Well, let's say you are. Why not just go with it, right? After all, you can always wake up. December 12th, 2054, 7.30 a.m. We're on board a private commuter train headed to the Zurich headquarters of the Coalescence Corporation. Our uh, cargo, prototype for the Winslow Accord Neural Network Initiative. At its core, specialized AI software that's capable of rewriting itself in order to interface with any other system in the world. State-of-the-art stuff back in the day. It'd go on to revolutionize a broad range of military and civilian applications. At least, it would have if the train had reached its destination. <laughs> At 7.31 a.m., a terrorist group detonated an explosive device on board this train. The incident sent back our robotics program several years. You're here to stop it. This isn't real. It can't be real. What is happening to me? Right now? Right now, you're in a medically induced coma being prepped for surgery. You've got a new bit of hardware inside your head. It's called a direct neural interface, or DNI. I've got one, too. That's how I'm able to communicate with you. Your DNI is what connects your mind with your new body and the larger world around you. We're connected. All of this is a simulation inside our minds. And you got a long way to go. RPG! 11.30 a.m. December 11th, 2054. Zerk security forces receive an anonymous tip, giving them the location of a hideout the terrorists are using. Unfortunately, the ZSF underestimated the firepower these assholes were packing. They got caught with their pants down, and they took it hard. Outcome? Train go boom. You remember Diaz? I think so. He's gonna help get you up to speed on some of the cool new shit you can do. Communication, brother. We all gotta be in sync. Yo, Taylor, you're a fucking dick. He didn't hear shit. If I wanna talk to you, the DNI transmits on a closed channel. I don't even have to think about it. But, uh, just so you know, if you ever think about calling Taylor a dick for real, brother, he's gonna mess you up worse than those robots. All right, let's go see if you can do this without ending up with Swiss cheese like those poor bastards. Okay, weapons hot. Wipe the floor with these assholes. Flanking left. There's never just one way. High, low, left, right. Different paths yield different advantages. Your DNI can provide combat critical info to help you better read the battlefield. Switch it 
in tactical mode. Like opening your eyes for the first time, right? Right. Use your enhanced mobility. It may take a little getting used to, but your confidence will soon grow. Try it for yourself. I got a hunter that says you can do it. Not bad, newbie. Not bad. Attack mode will highlight inbound threats such as rockets and grenades. You see flashing red. DNI doesn't just help us communicate with each other. It allows us to interact with a variety of computer systems, including pretty much all the basic drone units. Now, bipeds, sophisticated ground units, those are a whole lot trickier, brother. Those sons of bitches got a damn hive mind. You try to process and control all that, your brain is toast. But these? These fuckers are easy. Go ahead. Back in. We'll see what's on the other side of this wall. Fits like a glove, right? Now somewhere through there is a generator. Take it out and that door should open.
Blow that generator so we can get inside. Fresh ammo whenever you see an ammo crate. Last thing you want is to be in a fight with no bullets. Breath in and tell me what happened. I was back in Ethiopia. The grunts, I, I lived it all again. What's happening to me? Shit. You know how your senses can trigger vivid memories? Make you think of sounds, sights, words from songs. Make you think of stuff you haven't thought of in years. The DNI can make that a lot more visceral. Little glitches on your optics, little whispers in your ear. This shit happens. Doctor can straighten it out. You just need to recalibrate your meds. Trust me, you're gonna be fine. So what now? Oh, right now? You're gonna interface with that console. As soon as you plug in, you'll be able to extract and process the information in a heartbeat. Got it. They had a man on the inside at Coalescence. He would have been able to supply them with everything they needed to bypass the security on the train. The botched assault man, it took six hours for the ZSF to get that information. Outcome? Train go boom. It took you just six minutes. Yeah, it would have been five. He hadn't freaked out when he saw those robots. So what happens now? Now we go find the son of a bitch.
Tipped off by his terrorist pals. The mole was ready for him. He had heavy-duty combat grunts with him. Once again, the Zerk security force got their asses handed to him. Outcome. Train go boom. We lost him. He slipped away. You remember Specialist Sarah Hall? She's gonna walk you through the next part. Trust her, do exactly what she says. I trained her myself. She's an intelligence expert from back when that actually meant something. Before DNI, you had to read books. In the Academy, Taylor made me read a lot of them. Well, some knowledge is worth earning. Appreciating. And that takes time. Time is something we...